It's Hatching YouTube back again with another video. I am Ketchum Shiny with Pokemon Go, and we have Slack Off. So, uh, I forgot tonight is Slack Off hour, so that's highly entertaining. Um, yeah, not really, but I'm gonna catch a few and see what happens. All right, so don't mind me if I'm a little short of energy, getting over not feeling well yesterday and today. So, um, yeah, lots of news is happening. The Pokemon Go Snorlax Clicker, the Go Plus Plus, uh, we're starting, what do they call that? Uh, Rising Heroes, that's cool. Um, yeah, apparently, this ends in about 15 hours, so tomorrow morning at like 10. And since we're here, let's take a look. Our last research, nah. But uh, in 100% news, let's look at, I came across this little gem. 100% female Pika, right on. And then I got the 100% uh, Tropius that we talked about. So, some exciting stuff. Anyway, uh, there's a clip that I recorded earlier because I wasn't feeling good. So I just wanted to capture it while it was on my screen. So let's get through it together. Let's go. We'll hit play here and... So, earlier I noticed that uh, when you go up, it's all changed. The layout in the settings, everything's different. They got a whole new layout. Obviously the uh, loading animation for the game has changed. Um, yeah, the, the whole new look. It's vibrant, it, it's bright, so that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, the settings, they got like little Pokeballs. It's neat, I mean, I noticed straight away, so yay for them. What else we got? Oh, events and offers and updates. You can turn whatever on and off, yada yada yada. So, it was neat. I loaded the game for the first time today, and uh, yeah, saw the difference, saw the home screen, Poke Plus, right on. So, it's all different. What else we got? We have other things. What else? Oh yes. Coming soon, pairs with Go++, Plus Plus, Snorlax. You click on the link, soon you'll be able to track your sleeping habits with your phone. You need to download an app. And if you get the new Palm Size Plus Plus Clicker and you download the sleeping app, you get a brand new Snorlax with a sleeping hat. So, I'll be doing that. Alright, and then of course, if you guys notice a special box. Team Medallion, 5 incense, 50 balls and 5 lucky eggs for five bucks. So, I don't know if I'm gonna be changing teams, but for five bucks, it's nice to have that medallion. Five bucks, you mean, can you even buy incense for that? So, so yeah, you know, like eight incense, 250, so five's like two bucks, the metal, some balls, uh, what was there, lucky eggs or something? Lucky eggs are 80 cents each, so definitely worth. I'm wondering why they want us to have the medallion, because it's not going well. I know the first year everyone switched and I went to, uh, what did I go, Team Red? And then I went to Team Yellow and hated them both, so I went back to Blue. So I guess this is their way of saying they want people to change it up more, so are you going to? I bought it, because it's always good to have the $10 medallion for 5 bucks, but I'm not. Or am I? Maybe I will? No, I won't. I won't. Maybe. What do you think I should do? Comment down below. But anyway, that's that. We'll get back and see if there's any gameplay worth catching or recording, and I'll be back.
Hey, just sitting here catching some boring slack offs, waiting for my kid to get done in church, and was thinking about the medallion. We got Jirachi part one that we have to get through the, the 385s, and then we know already part two is going to be 10 best buddies. Part three, four, and five are not yet announced. Do you think that they're going to ask us to switch a team? May they have something to do with the master research? It would be highly unusual for them to make us switch a team, but would you do it for a shiny Jirachi? I don't think I would. Anyway, just to play it safe, I might hold off before switching in case that's something that they got up their sleeve. But anyway, what do you think? Holy slack offs, mate. Look at them. How many is there? Like 30 of them are here? Uh, Alright, I'm going to click through them, see if any of them want to be pink. Let the clicker do most of the work and get back at you. Alright, so an in-game pop-up. Anyone can be a hero. Whether it's helping someone across the street or saving shadow Pokemon. From Team Go Rocket, you have the power to make a difference. Get ready for Pokemon events, bonuses, and upcoming in March that will help your heroes. So, let's blow this up and see what's happening. Alright, so we got Roaming Form Gimme Ghoul. Catch in Pokemon Go. March 1st to March 8th. We got Tornadus is back. Ho Ho's back. Thunderous is back. Lugia is back. Yeah. Mega Rage Charizard. Mega Medichan. Okay. Venusaur and Alakazam. Meh. March 5th. Catch Mastery event. March 8th to 14th. Festival of Colors event. March 11th, Elite Raids from 11 till 2 and 5 p.m. No, 11 a.m., 2 p.m. and 5 p.m. local time. March 18th, March Community Day. March 21st, Let's Go Team Rocket Takeover. And March 25th, Battle Palmer, Whale Palmer. Um, raid hours, we got Tornadoes, Ho Ho, Ho Ho, back to back, that's no fun. Tornadus and Lugia. Spotlight hours will have Mega Eevee. No, not Mega Eevee. Eevee. Rowlet can't be shiny. Litten can't be shiny. And Puplet can't be shiny. So, uh, not too fun. Research Breakthrough. Snorlax is in the box. Can be shiny. That's kind of cool. So, that's about it. Neat little, neat little announcement there. So, yeah. Uh... Sorry to sound so kind of bummed out, but is anything there overly exciting? Um, maybe the fact that we're going to get Medi, uh, Mega Medichan, that's new, and Gimme Ghoul, obviously, but uh, the whole Switch aspect and having to find the game, and I don't know. We'll see. Uh, the events, maybe some of them are cool. I don't really have any excitement for any of the raid hours or their level 5 star bosses. The spotlight hours, as usual, seem to be kind of blah. Um, yeah, so how do you feel about the event? Let me know down below. Boo? Yay? Excited? We'll see. Uh, and then March Community Day. Do we know what it is? Because I do. Alright, so in case you're wondering what days you should book off, obviously March 18th they just announced that's going to be Community Day, but also book for April 15th, and then April 29th is Community Day Classic, and Sunday, May 21st is your next May Community Day. So if you're looking to schedule time off in advance so you can get them, that's what you want to do. Alright, so I thought I knew what March community day was but I don't I know when it was so uh, what do you think it'll be maybe it'll be slack off anyway comment down below tell me what you think it could be do we know yet am I just unaware um, what do you want it to be something cool would be nice we got one minute before this event of slack off ends so I'm gonna call that a video go home and go back to bed because I feel like poop anyway uh, down below sub like 
follow all that good stuff buy yourself a clicker in july when the new snorlax go plus plus comes out uh hit up that march 18th event and let's get uh let's get our pokey on for the month so sub like comment happy hacking